All right, so we are going to plant our garden here in a bit. As you, if you may have watched us do our raised garden beds, we'll put a link to that video in the description below. But right now we bought some tomatoes and other plants. I will walk you through. We have some strawberries, marigolds, all that kind of stuff. So let me walk you through and show you what we got. So we have some Roma tomatoes. Uh, we did get some mint as well. These are all strawberries and we're gonna build a garden for that, a tower. So you'll get to see that. And then we get some lettuce and marigolds because those are like supposed to be really good for your pesticide control there without using pesticides. You can use that. And then we've got these tomato cage things as well. And I call them tomato cages, but um, I guess you can do that for cage fighting for the tomatoes, the best ones win. All right, so we're gonna start planting here. We have them placed where we want them to be, I guess. And so you just dig a hole Oh, you probably want to see that. Dig a little spot. And then you save these tags because you've got to put it next to your plant. And then you just gently pop these out. Throw it in the hole you just made. I'm gonna go a little deeper. Like so. There you go. And I'm gonna put these cages up later. Tomato cage fighting. <laughs> he said gardening can't be fun. All right. Okay, so right now I'm gonna plant some marigolds and the purpose of those is like a natural pesticide and helps uh, also with some of the pollination, especially for tomato plants, like the bees and stuff like that. It's very good. It's not a foolproof way of having a pesticide and some of the stuff that gets into the soil, but it helps out quite a bit. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna plant them and where we're positioning them or putting them in our garden. So a quick way for us to do this, or I'm gonna tell you, my wife did this, is she took the thing here, this tool, garden tool, and she just used the end of it and did a little hole like that. It's perfect size for these marigolds. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. All right, so here's, one, two, I'm gonna drop that in there, drop another in there, and let's just keep working these out until they come out. There we go. Now that I have those in, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you around the garden here. Kind of show you where we've 
replace them. You can see there. There's the three right there. I put two down, one over here, one on the other side, and then one down there. So yeah, garden's coming along. All right, so that's our video for today. That's what we were able to get. It's still early in the season. We have more vegetables and things that we need to put into our garden. So I will film that uh, once the plants become available. We have started early, um, but it's just, there wasn't a wide selection for us to choose from as far as the types of plants we wanted. So next week we'll go, we'll, uh, go pick up some more and plant them and you'll get to see what goes into our garden. Um, please like and subscribe. It helps our channel out greatly. We also appreciate it very much. And hit the bell icon. Uh, to receive notifications every time we put out a new video. Um, and, you know, um, enjoying our garden. If you are, uh, leave a comment below. Let us know what you're putting in your gardens. We are excited to hear what you are all doing. And also, I will tell you what we have going. We have these strawberries over here, and I will be next weekend, I'm building a tower. I'll be building a strawberry tower to put all of those in, and I'll show you how we build that and where we're going to plant it. So thank you. I will see you next time.